Hey dear members, in this discussion, we're going to be looking at how we can find the equation of a polynomial and uh, basing on the degree that we will have determined from a table of values. And we are going to be using finite differences to be able to achieve this. And so uh, we are given the values of x and the values of the polynomial at each of those values of x. And we are going to work backwards to determine the polynomial function that maps the x values onto the y or that maps the y values onto the x values. This is how we do it. So first of all, we are going to redraw our table and now start finding the differences. So the differences are going to be uh, one, the first difference for the function f of x, the second difference for the function f of x, and for the third difference, okay, for the function f of x. And if it is possible, we shall also find the fourth difference. So let's proceed and see what this gives us. Now, how do we do this? We get uh, the first difference is obtained from this negative 92 minus negative 4. So how do we get uh, that? Uh, negative 92 minus negative 4, this is going to be written here. And this is negative 88. So negative 396 is the next so 3 negative 9, 6 minus negative 92. In other words, we are trying to say if you have y1, you have y2. So the difference is going to be y2 minus y1. So that's what we are doing here. So negative 3, 9, 6 minus negative 92, we have negative 3, 0, 4. Negative 1, 0, 6, 0. We subtract the negative 3, 9, 6. We get negative 6, 6, 4. The next one is negative 1, 1, 6, 8. The next one is negative 1, 8, 1, 6. If I get negative 4, 0, 4, 4 minus that, I would get this. Then the next is going to be, if I get this minus that, I write here. So negative 3, 0, 4 minus negative 8, 8, I write it here. What is it going to be? I'm going to be having negative 2, 1, 6. The next one is negative 3, 6. If I get a negative 1, 1, 6, 8 minus that, I'll get a value that is equivalent to negative 5, 0, 4. The negative uh, 1, 8, 1, 6 minus negative 1, 1, 6, 8 is going to give us negative 6, 4, 8. Okay. Now, if I get this minus that, I'm going to get negative 1, 4, 4. And this minus that, negative 1, 4, 4. This minus that, negative 1, 4, 4. Okay? So, this method of uh, determining, this method of determining the polynomial equation using finite differences only express or only uh, helps us to find the right result if, if we have a constant h. So what is h? h is the step size between uh, the x values. So you can see from this to that, we have a positive 2. From that to that, we have a positive 2. From that to that, we have a positive 2. From that to that, we have positive 2. And from that to that, we have positive 2. So that's why we had to choose to use this method because we know at the end of the day, we will find a constant, we will find constant values under some particular difference uh, stage. Uh, so we have obtained a constant value under the third difference, the constant value under the third difference. Let us see 
And this side, this minus that will get a zero, this minus that will get a zero. We also get a constant, but which are zeros. Now, how do we determine the degree, the degree of the polynomial? The degree of the polynomial for this particular function uh, or for this part, uh, particular polynomial is going to be 3 because we have obtained a constant value, constant value, which is non-zero under uh, the third differences. Okay, under the third differences, that's why we have obtained a constant value which is non-zero. So that means um, we can say our polynomial p of x is going to be a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. Because if it is of degree 3, then it is going to be in this format. If it was uh, under the second uh, difference, then it would be... Uh, a x squared, okay, it would be quadratic. It would be a x squared plus b x plus c, okay, and that would be your polynomial of x, okay. What if it was under, uh, we got constant values under the first difference? Obviously, that would give you a linear function, and that would be p of x, which is equal to a x plus b. So you have to understand uh, how we apply this, uh, these finite differences to determine the degree of the polynomial and therefore uh, deduce the format of the polynomial that is describing this relationship between x and y. So now our task is to find our task is to find a to find B, to find C, to find D. So, what is A, B, C, D? So, first of all, we can say A is called leading coefficient because it is the coefficient, okay? Is the coefficient of a value is a coefficient of uh, x that carries the highest power in this polynomial and therefore we call it a leading coefficient and now how do we determine uh, these values so we are going to use another a style that is going to help us to reach uh, the values of a b c and d so now what we are going to do, we are going to write our values of x here, okay? Then we put our values of y this side, but you remember our y now is going to be uh, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So what is our value of x? We are going to put 1, okay? We put 3. We put 5 and put 7. Since we have 4 coefficients or 4 unknowns, therefore we are going to get 3. Uh, we are going to get 4 uh, equations that we need to solve simultaneously. So we can use any method, matrix, we can use row reduction method and be able to get the values of A, B, C, and D. But here is a, a faster method of getting these values so what we are going to do we are going to substitute in this polynomial for each value of x so what is the, going to be the function here it is going to be a plus b plus c plus d and then when it is equal to 3 we are going to have 27 a plus 9b plus 3c plus d. If it is uh, at 5, okay, 
at x is equal to 5, this is going to be uh, this is going to be 125 a plus 25b plus 5c plus d. Then if it is 7, uh, x is equal to 7, we are going to have 343a plus 49b plus 7c plus d. Aha. Uh -huh. So now, this is going to be our y. So what if we also use the, the finite differences by looking at the differences of y? So the difference of y here, I'm going to get this minus that. So if I get this minus that, this minus that, it is going to give me uh, 27 minus a, which gives us 27a minus a, which gives us 26a, and therefore the others will also be 8b plus 2c. So d will run away. So we also do for this and that. This is going to be 98a, okay, plus 16b plus 2c. So d will also run away. Uh, we'll cancel in other words. So 343 minus 125, I'll have 218a plus 24b plus 2c. Let me look for, let me look for the second difference of y. So I get this and that. So this minus that, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 17a plus 8b. Then this and that, if I subtract them, I'm going to get 120a plus 8b. I can go ahead and look for the third difference. So this and that, what will I get? I'm going to get, I'm going to get 48A. So how does this help me? I'll just go back and relate. This, remember, is the first difference. This is the same as the second difference. Okay? This is the same as the third difference. Like we got from above there. So that means if I look at the third difference, a constant value of negative 144 is equivalent to 48a. Therefore, 48a is equal to negative 144. And what is going to be the value of a? This is going to equal to negative, negative 3. So negative 3, I can substitute it in here and get B. Okay? So what is 17A plus 8B equal to? Remember, I have uh, this on the side of the second, uh, on the second difference. Okay? On the second difference, if I checked my values here, it is going to equal to, remember it corresponds to, uh, if I did 4, if I did 4, 3 and 5, then I also did 4, 5 and 7. So now, you can see, okay, this is coming from, this is coming from, uh, this is coming, the, the second, okay, this is the second difference, so it is coming from uh, the 5 and the 3. So what is that value going to be? Okay, the 5 and the 3. Okay, the 5 and the 3 is negative 2, 1, 6. So I'm going to have negative 
So if I substitute in A, I will find that my B is equal to, my B is equal to 0. I put in also uh, for, I'll put in now, I'm going to use an equation that has C. So an equation that has C is 26A plus 8B. So 26A plus 8B plus 2C is supposed to equal to uh, the difference between uh, the y at x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1. So what is going to be that value? So I'm going to look at the first difference. So it is going to be this and that at x is equal to 3 and at x is equal to 1. So it is negative 88. So I come down here and say this is equal to negative 88. So my C, if I solve that equation, is going to be negative 5. So how do I get D? So D, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use the fact that D corresponds to the value of f of x or y, okay, when x is equal to 0. But unfortunately, I don't have a value of x is equal to 0, so I can choose to substitute in what I already have and then be able to determine the value of D. So let me look at, at, at x is equal to 1, y equaling to negative 4. So if I substitute in that equation here, so I will have A plus B plus C plus D equal to negative 4. So therefore, a plus b plus c plus d is equal to negative 4. I already have a as negative 3. I have b as 0. I have c as uh, negative 5. Okay. I have d as an unknown. And this is equal to negative 4. So uh, my d, therefore, d is equal to negative 4 plus 8. And therefore, d is equal to 4. So our task is to rewrite the polynomial. So our polynomial, p of x, okay, which is the same as f of x, which is the same as y, okay, is going to be, uh, we said negative 3 x squared, okay, the first one, uh, the, the general one, the general one, the general one was a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. So that means our polynomial of x is equal to a negative 3 x cubed uh, plus b, which is uh, 0. So we ignore that plus our c. And what is our c? We said our c is negative 5. So minus 5 x. Then plus b, which is 4. And therefore, the polynomial is going to be negative 3 x cubed minus 5 x plus 4. So if you want, you can put of maybe let me say 7 okay what is that going to be negative 3 into 7 power 3 minus 5 into 7 plus 4 what is that value going to be we have 7 power 3 we multiply by negative 3 okay we take away 5 times 7 and we add 4. So we are getting negative 106. When we check up there, so it gives you the value that we are talking about, 
and therefore this is the polynomial that maps the values of uh, y to x as given in the table above.